What's really sad is to see all of these people, especially feminists who've got it all wrong. They just have the, the, they really got it so wrong. But they're going to take that all the way to the death of France. They would kill their nation rather than turn it around. Uh, and it's it's just sad to see France die that way. And I really believe, when I heard this, I said, that's that's the end of France. It's finished. When they can do something as bold as this, as anti-God as this, and declare it part of their part of human rights, it's finished. It's sad. It's sad. What's crazy is to see people jumping for joy and applauding the end of their world. Wokeism is really about the death of motherhood, isn't it? And about the death of the family. To see them celebrating death um, and the most really, the greatest gift um, a mother can have certainly is the birth of her child. Um, the greatest gift a man can have short of being a priest father, you're the you're, you're the parent to all of us, is to be a parent um, and husband to children. You know, Marion Marichal, who's of the far right uh, reconquest party, wrote, um, what is the point of holding the Olympic Games in France if we then hide who we are? It's an interesting tie-in here because isn't it funny how they are, on the one hand, so anti-Catholic, so anti-Christ as to enshrine the killing of his children into their constitution, at the same time, reject the Islamic offense at a cross uh, or crucifix. It's an interesting thing also because they, they want the externals of the faith, but not the faith itself. They reject Christ for the beauty that Christianity has brought the world. They're living on the freedoms of Christianity. The whole reason why women are respected in France and in every country of the world is the faith. And who's going to take over? Islam, that's already taking over. And they're going to lose those freedoms, especially the freedoms of women, because they don't recognize that those self-same freedoms that they love come from the faith. John Henry, I, I would suggest they're not only going to lose those freedoms, they are going to be the first to lose those freedoms. The, the ones who are screaming and yelling and applauding today will be the first on the list, believe me. But that self-same confusion is going on in our very church from the top. The, the stunning part about enshrining abortion in the France Constitution is that it's part of a globalist plan because the globalist plan for 2030, the 2030 agenda, has part of it the sustainable development goals. The sustainable development goals are about, included in the goals, are the enshrinement of abortion and contraception throughout the world. Has to be, because they remember, it's about population control. 